welcome to my ta new top 10 oh my god I I am uploading the, in the same week I uploaded the top 10 overpowered anime protagonist and I'm so glad for that okay this is top 10 that is upcoming anime for fall of 2019 time go goes by so fast you guys like I I can still remember when I was recording for the video for the winter 2019 and now we're approaching the end of the year fall 2019 last season of anime for 2019 and I'm kind of excited because there's a lot of hype series from what I can read up from my anime list my anime list uh, uh, description so without further ado let's go ahead on some anime to watch this fall 2019 and like usual you guys I'm gonna do the I'm gonna leave a link in the description below on the my anime list link and I'm gonna I'm also going to do this in a new f fashion because I think I, I think I, I don't know how how to work by screen recorder so I'm gonna do it this way so that the top 10 way so that I actually have to read up on my own on which enter interesting plot synopsis is more is picks my interest and I'm gonna try out so I'm gonna and this is also a little bit shorter maybe shorter ish because of course uh, the plot I mean, if you can see my script right now it's, it's probably gonna take me like half an hour to get through it seriously so without further ado let's go get it start get started shall we number 10 number 10 from what you can see where my screen right now is assassin's bride i actually read the plot synopsis and i i immediately think of a kamega kill just read j i'm gonna read you the synopsis for this series it's in the world where where all the aristocrats have the power to fight the monsters monster mana a youth named kufa is dispatched as a tutor and Mareda's talent, uh, talents, Mareda's talent, a nuisance, a nuisance girl born in Duke, in a Duke's family. If she is not talented, assassinate her. That is the dark side of the, his task. Kind of interesting. Like it reminds me a little bit of a comic, a kill. Yeah. And that's why I'm really interested because Akamega is one of my favorite series. Even though the the anime kind of sucks when when it comes to killing all all the main characters. And it's gonna be based on the light novel. I haven't read any of the light novels and the fantasy. That could it, this could be interesting. I I'm gonna give it a try. So let's proceed on to number nine. Okay, number nine. This one. Val X Love. The first time I read the synopsis for this one, it reminded me of High School DxD. And from what you guys can tell, I love High School DxD from my big boobs list. Oh my god. Because Ria is my number one and Alpin is my number two. I love High School DxD. It reminds me so much of High School DxD. And the genre for this one is harem, comedy, supernatural, romance, ecchi, school, and shonen. It's basically High School DxD, the exception of Shonen, because High School DxD is not Shonen. The plot, its source is manga. I, I probably check out the manga pretty soon. Maybe, yeah. And the plot says, High school, high schooler Akutsu Akuma has learned to accept his lonely lot in life and is content, surrounded by his studies, but when the when the god Odin when God Odin tops him and him to save the world alongside nine Valkyries filled by intimacy of course because this actually and not hentai totally not hentai it's totally different thing you guys Takuma can say goodbye to his solitary existence yep 
it reminds me a little bit maybe more pervert a more perverted version of high school dxd maybe but it definitely have some high school dxd premise which maybe i'll check it out you know me i love my harem anime i really do love dxd man so i'll give it a shot my night and then hey then let's proceed to number eight shall we eight i'm not gonna cannot pronounce that Japanese name because I can't speak Japanese but the English translation of the name would be this hero is too is invincible but too cautious like hmm. yeah reminds me I think this is gonna be this is definitely gonna be an easy card just from the title alone it's gonna be the easy I can probably see my my uh, my picture the picture over here and it looks easy guy to me like the main character looks similar to enough my boy now Fimi from the shield from shield hero so let's read the plot synopsis by the way the genre is action adventure comedy and fantasy which is all of the genre for an easy guy anime and source is light novel and the plot synopsis is goddess list Torte, the savior of the super hard mode world Gerbrand Ger Ger I don't know how to pronounce that summons a hero to her aid yep Isekai the hero Seiya Ryuguen holds the cheat rank status but he is too ridiculously cautious for instance he could he would buy three sets of armor one to wear a spare and a spare for the spare beyond keeping an absurd amount of items item stuff item stuff he retains his in his room from muscle training till re he, he reaches the max level and fight slimes at full power just to say on the safe side hmm this this could be I could see the, some comedy comedy aspects to this one I really I I could see like an Usopp kind of hero here but way too OP than Usopp of course God Usopp yeah yeah I'll check this out just because I'm feeling I'm feeling that I need to check out all of the Isekai that comes out per season so let's check that one out let's proceed to number seven shall we number seven I'm really excited for this one I'm so happy that it gets a second season because I think I watch and I watch uh, the season season one of this like the beginning of 2018 it's grand blue fantasy the animation season two I really I really did enjoy season one although it's kind of cliche I, I, I am a sucker for cliche but not that much, but I really did enjoy this watching this one. I'm so excited for this one too. Grand Blue Fantasy, the, the animation season two. Its source is game and genre is advent adventure and fantasy. Uh, the plot synopsis for season one, just in case you guys didn't know, this is a world of the skies. Yep. We basically sky a bunch of sky adventure or sky pirates whatever whatever floats your boats where many islands drift in the sky a boy named Gran and a talking winged lizard named Vern live in Zinkenstow and an island which yields mysteries one day they come across a girl named Lyria Lyria had escaped from the Earth Day Empire, uh, a, a military government that is trying to rule over to rule over the this world using the power of ma powerful military prowess in order to escape from the Empire. Grand and Lyria head out into the vast skies, holding the letter Grand's father left behind which is I will be waiting at East Estalusia Islands of the Stars hmm. that's basically the gif of that I actually did enjoy this 
a lot, and I think there in the season one, it's been a while since I watched this show. The many enemies are actually gathering, like it's building up for season two. So I'm really excited for this one too. So let's proceed to number six. Should be another isekai, of course. But when I was reading my anime list for this one, I actually, I, I found three more isekai, but only. Two out of three I actually found interesting. So for this one, it's high school protege, proteges have it easy even in another world, of course. Basic, mm, I actually watched this one, the trailer for this one f from that Crunchyroll uh, YouTube channel. So I'm going to read the plot synopsis. Seven high school students that got caught in an airplane accident airplane this time not truck can it's airplane can this time wake up in a middle age like fantasy different world where magic and beast man or Juden exist but they do not panic at their current situation they build a nuclear plan this is high this is anime remember high school student is totally capable of that seriously <laughs> They build a nuclear plant in a world without electricity, totally capable of that by the way. They control the economy of a large city in in a short work strip, totally capable of that high school student, remember? And finally, for their benefactor's sake who are suffering from the misgovernment, they declare war on evil evil nobles. Yep. So none none of them is a normal high school student. I mean, we we can all we can all we can all take away from the first paragraph that I've just read right, from this point. They're not normal. <laughs> each of the each of the each of them have are superhuman high school student that stand at the top of politics, economics, science, and medicine. This is a story of a dream team that possess Earth's greatest wisdom and technology that without any restraining, restraining bring a revolution to, to, a, to a different world with, ov with over technology. So, um, I'm guessing that this is not just a genre, it's also fantasy slash sci-fi, which is interesting for me, because in the my anime list website, it's only fantasy, but I'm guessing it's gonna be sci-fi as well, just because. And then its source is light novel. Uh, the source is light novel, definitely. So, pretty interesting. I'm gonna check it out, because it's gonna be, it's, I feel like it's going to be fantasy slash magic slash slash sci-fi so I'm gonna check it out definitely and let's proceed to number five but I'm actually surprised that we never learn or we can study I think when it's not it's what we never learn season two is coming out like this fall because uh, I think the season one for this one really uh, aired last season which is spring of 2019 and then it's gonna be season two is gonna be airing pretty soon at fall 2019 so i'm quite surprised for that one for those of you guys who don't know about we uh we never learned season two it's basically a harem is genre is harem comedy romance school and shonen its source is the monk is, ma uh, is manga and a short brief description is Basically, uh, Noriyuki Yu Yuiga Yuga, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm gonna pronounce his first name first. Noriyuki basically tutored, I think, five girls who have who are basically genius at, at their own field, but uh, but they are lacking on different field. Basically, Furuhashi was a genius in in literature but not so good at arithmetic and so on and so forth so he he basic he's like a balance kind of he's 
grades are balanced so he's going to be teaching all of these two incredible students to tutoring the geniuses basically to the to the subject they're weak to and if they can manage to he can manage to make their grades up he's gonna have a recommendation from the school to take on college one of the most prestigious colleges so that's basically the gif from what i can remember on top of my memory which is not that great so yeah i'm gonna i'm kind of excited for that one because i really did enjoy watching we never learned since the first season for that one so i'm i can't wait for october and watch that one so let's proceed to number four yeah. And we have another season for number four. We have another season of Nanatsu no Taizai. Kami ka Kami Gami no Gekurin, Seven Deadly Sins. I've heard that it's not going to be all about the manga. It's just going to be a filler. But I think I still want to. Uh, I still want to like. Uh, watch it because it's seven deadly sins i really want to watch seven seven deadly sins more genre action adventure fantasy magic shonen and supernatural and its source is ma the manga of course let's proceed on to number number three you already know that i'm a big sword art online fan so i'm gonna put sword art online alicization war of underworld that cliffhanger they live us in the end of Sword Art Online alicization is so infuriating for me, so I'm really excited for the continuation for that. Genre, action, adventure, fantasy, game, and romance, and source, light novel. Let's proceed to number two would be Bukuno Hero Academia Season 4 or My Hero Academia. Genre, action, comedy, school, shonen, and superpower, and source, media. Yeah, I'm, I'm re. I'm, I'm really looking forward for this one. Like it's been a year since I haven't touched upon My Hero Academia. Like I haven't. I'm not reading. I'm not. An, I'm an anime only fan, so it's gonna be pretty exciting for me, definitely. And let's proceed to my number one, which is I'm more hype of this series more than Booker No Hero Academia. Seriously, I'm more hype for the for this one. Let's proceed. One Shoko Geki Nusama Shinasara. Uh, I can't, I can't explain myself for what, I'm, I'm more excited about this one, but this is my most anticipated anime for fall 2019, I really love Food Wars, like, ever since I watched it the first time, I've fallen in love with it, like, I have downloaded plenty of episodes in my phone about Food Wars, I've rewatched it about, like, five times and I, I still can't get over it so I, I really do love Food Wars for me so now my number one spot would be another season of Food Wars definitely genre actually shown in school and source manga and the, that's all for my top 10 upcoming fall 2019 anime if you guys what are you guys excited for for fall 2019 and let me know in the comment section down below and please leave a like and subscribe yeah, and thank you so much for liking uh, for watching my video please like and subscribe for more anime and otaku related contents and please click any of the any of the videos up to, up in the screen right now i think this one over here is going to be my most recent upload and this one over here is going to be my most popular upload or the most recent popular upload uh, that I uploaded without further ado and click here to subscribe to my vi my channel so without further ado let's wrap this up see you guys see you guys in the next video